Hi boys and girls, good morning. So now we are on project number, let's see. We did the molas, that's one. We did the parrot, that's, or the toucan, that's two. We did the dart frog, that's three. We did the ox cart, that's four. So this is project number five that has to do with Central America. And so we started in Panama. We learned about the molas and the traditional folk art of Panama. And then we talked about the animals that you might see in Panama and Costa Rica. And we started with the toucan because you would see both of those animals there. And then we traveled up into Costa Rica and we did the dart frog. And now we're, and we did the folk art, the ox cart wheel in Costa Rica as well. So now we're going to be moving up into Nicaragua. And Nicaragua is a very mountainous country that is north of Costa Rica. And we're going to be looking at two things, the traditional art of Costa Rica, the folk art, that's the art that people do there for, for fun and it's what they sell to tourists that come and also what the landscape is actually really like in Nicaragua. This is an example of a traditional folk piece. Excuse me, I just have to, there we go. A traditional folk piece and the way that this works is you can see all the mountains and the regions, you can see the types of homes that they may live in and what you realize is it's a very agricultural nation. There's lots of different crops represented on all these different mountains and then here is the sea that comes into the coast of Nicaragua. Up here I did the sky, but I did the sky like an orange color for the sunset, just so it offsets the water. So boys and girls, I might've said Costa Rica, Nicaragua. This is Nicaragua. So what I wanna do is teach you how to make a landscape that goes back in space like this, because it can be a little tricky. And so I'm gonna talk to you about how they go from smaller and then the mountains get a little larger, how the house in the front is bigger than the houses in the back. But also in traditional folk art, they don't always think about size because take a look at these giant trees to the trees here, right? So sometimes it doesn't make sense and that's okay because in traditional folk art, a lot of times the artists are not trained professionally. It's just something they love to do. And the beauty of this country, I could see why they would love to do it, right? So I, I just think it's really beautiful. So we're going to, I'm gonna take this down so that I can put my paper up and we can get started. So I'm just gonna, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this one over here in the corner so we can see it and reference it. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on this one. So I'm gonna put my blank paper here and then I'm gonna tell you what supplies we need. So, oh, you guys are gonna be starting at home with a pencil, don't forget, just in case you need to erase. I am gonna be using markers today and crayons. Next week, I am gonna introduce how you can make paint at home. We're gonna talk about that for my friends who would like to paint. And if you don't have a paintbrush, what you can use in place of a paintbrush to make color with paint, but that's next week. So for this week, we're gonna start with drawing. I'm gonna take my marker out because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I, I have to plan backwards. So back here is where my mountains are going to be. And I think, actually, I guess over here is where my mountains are gonna be that are in the back and they're going to come around and wrap around. So it can be a little tricky. So one of the things that I'm going to do first is I'm gonna make my first mountain up here toward the top of my paper, and then I'm gonna make where the water comes in because I think that will help me to know not to draw mountains right here. I wanna keep the water there. I'm gonna do my next mountain which kind of is behind it, but I'm stopping there because I want this mountain to be in front. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I stopped short. I didn't go all the way down to the water. 
And then I'm going to make my mountain here and another one back there for now. This bottom over here is gonna curve in just a little bit. So I'm just gonna make it curve just a little. This is still water here. And I'm gonna start to make my mountains now. I'm working from the back to the front so that I can be sure that I know where everything is going to go and that as my mountains come down and wrap around, they're going to get bigger. I have a tree here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my tree top. And I am going to add the bottom of my tree. And then you're gonna be able to see where it's gonna wrap around and I'm gonna add more. Did I do that right? No, I did it backwards. So, no, I did it right, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make more mountains. I'm sorry about that, boys and girls. I confused myself because when you're watching me, I'm looking at this, but I can also see it in the camera. And then that makes it reverse. So sometimes I get confused. So you just keep following what I'm drawing here and you're gonna be fine. Don't, you know how Mrs. Jones like loses her glasses and loses her phone and gets confused all the time. You know, you know me. Just keep following what I'm drawing. <laughs> Stick with that and you'll be okay. And then I'm gonna to start to make some mountains coming up over this way, because if we look over here, we'll see that there are some mountains. So now this is my water, these are the mountains, and I wanna to start to add my houses. So I'm going to add a big house down the bottom, and I'm going to use a rectangle with two lines that come in toward each other for that squared off top. I'm going to add a door and a window. It's hot in Nicaragua. It's tropical weather. So they would have open windows and open doorways. I'm gonna bring this one down. I'm gonna have more mountains and rolly hills come this way. And I'm gonna add a palm tree. So a palm tree leaf is like a banana or that looks like a mustache, doesn't it? So you just keep adding your bananas and you'll have a palm tree. So there's one of my palm trees. Now I need to do another house, but it's gonna go further back. Should that house be bigger or smaller? Let's see, who can I ask? Josiah, would that house in the back be bigger or smaller? We want it to be smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a littler house right over here. Smaller house, I should say. So see how that's smaller than this one? Because it's going back. So if you're, if you're drawing, as it's toward the front of you, it's always gonna be bigger, okay? So now it's gonna be smaller. I'm gonna make my roof the same way. I'm going to go ahead and add my door. And I want one more house. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it, right there. And it's gonna be really little. Look how small that house is. See now how it's going far back? You can tell. I think I wanna add a couple more palm trees. I might add some palm trees going this way. Okay. And now when you take a look at the hills, so this is where it gets to be really fun because this is where you get to do your designs. As you're working, every single hill has a design. If you're worried about coloring on here and you're not supposed to, I have a trick for you to remember that this is the water. You can add some waves and that'll help you remember, don't draw on there, that's your water. So the stripes represent where the crops are all growing, whether it's corn or cabbage or whatever it is they're growing there. And I like to do all, if you notice on this one, you will see that all of the lines go in different directions. So if I have lines going in this direction on this mountain, I want them to go in a different direction on the one behind it. 
And I'm, I actually also, these are very close together. So I think I want these to be further apart. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them go up and down, but I'm going to spread them out. There we go. So see how it looks different? And all of a sudden it takes on a different texture. Over here, I think I want it to be like um, a hill full of flowers, like tropical flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna fill my hill with polka dots. And I can add flowers to make it a hill full of flowers. And if you'll notice, each one of my sections should look a little different or at the very least, if they're full of lines, the lines should be going in a different direction. I also think that in some of these, they're just, I just added dots to them, which you can do. Here, I'm going to be adding lines that are going to go in this direction. So they're gonna come down and notice how I'm curving my lines. They're not straight up and down because if they're straight up and down, you're gonna flatten your mountain, right? So if I curve it just a little bit, it gives it that sense of dimension, right? Where it feels like if you rode a bike over it, it would be hard to ride your bike over it, correct? I think back here, we should do another type of design that's similar to this one, just because it's all the way back here. And it's kind of separate from that one and it'll draw your eye. We don't want the same patterns right next to each other. And so this can also be a different color because if you've noticed, my hill sections are all different colors. So now this one here, I'm gonna do this kind of like that one up there. So watch, because this is a really big hill and I think it would look kind of cool if the lines were going totally a different way, but also pretty separate from that one. So see how much thicker it is? So as I go, there are also some that are just plain where only half the hill is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw lines coming down on this side, but leave that side solid, like it's just got grass on it. I think that up here, I think, let's see, if I've got flowers here and flowers there, where should my next mountain full of flowers be? It's gotta be one of these. I think if it's here, it's too close. There might be good, or that one, or even that one. But I think we need to separate some of these, so let's do this one. I'm gonna go ahead. Now your mountains might be in very different spots than mine, and that's okay. And I'm actually not even gonna put petals on these flowers. I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of circles to them, okay? And so now I have three more left to go, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one like this but I'm gonna add a texture to the lines by putting little flowers on top of the lines and that'll just give it a little bit of a different texture. And I think that we will keep this one just a solid hill and not put anything on it. And this one over here, I like this one. So I'm gonna make lines that are very far apart from one another, so check it out. So now I have my landscape of Nicaragua, but I'm missing something. Let's see, who can tell me what I'm missing? Who haven't I called on yet today? Kayla and Matt, what am I missing in the sky? What am I missing? I am missing the sun. Oh, and actually, by the way, in each of the videos, there's different videos, so I should have actually said, who did I not call on this week? Because I've been doing videos all day, so I've been calling on people, but you'll hear your name hopefully in different videos. But on this one, I didn't add any rays to the sun, but I'm going to on this one, because I think it would be cool. So I'm gonna add long, skinny 
rectangles. Check that out. Look at that design. Woo! So it's so much fun to color these in. So you can go ahead and I would make sure that each section is a different color. Don't color them the same. You can add marker and crayon. Mine is done with marker and crayon. The only thing I do want to show you is on the roof, there are shingles. And the way that I did the shingles on the roof was I just took my red marker and I made marks for the shingles. So you don't have to worry about drawing individual shingles. You can go ahead and make the marks just with your marker and it'll look like shingles. So boys and girls, I hope you have a great time. I can't wait to see these finish. I think when I turn this off, I'm gonna color this one in. Cause I really like it. I like it better than that one. So I hope that you have a really great day, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Oh, and I miss you. Bye.